Excuse the wind, it is very, very windy today, but we are back out at the big one. But uh, we've come back out, and actually, this time we have both daughters have come. Uh, we've got the older one, she's decided that she wants to see what this is all about on our walk. We're still on our one hour walk, and we're just walking around and just looking at stuff. along up there where the fence is and uh, it's brought me into this next section which as you can see is rather extensive and it just keeps going and going and going I think that might be another car up there so well, let's have a little walkie I'll aim you down at the ground so you can see all the sort of things that have been dug out Stripey one's kind of cool. Let's have a look at that. Let us see. I've been told I'm too quiet. I'm trying and trying and trying to be louder. What is this? You see that one? I don't think it's anything. But, uh, got a cool bottle anyway. It would have had a label on it. So, uh, no. No, what that was, but lots of things down in there. Somebody's bit they've had a little diggy at. Bank falling away down to the river. Oh, I think I have found another car. Oh, look at this. Look what I have found. <laughs> um, and another car. I think that's at least two cars. And the car that we found on the other side. And the potential tractor. And there's another one up there. So, that is one or, I believe that's two cars there. That's possibly another car. Um, and then, I can see along here, another one, I think. This is the best way to walk this. Let's go up here. I think this is the village junkyard, eh? Hopefully uh, my walking pace is better than my holding on pace. Um, yeah, check this out. It's another car. Can you believe that's just been thrown down the bank on the side of this river? I mean, look at that car. That is so cool. I wonder what it was. What kind of car was it? Let's make our way down here. Let's have a look. What is that? Oh, that's a Dingwall lemon, but that's a different type, that one. I seem to think these things are quite common, even though we couldn't find them. That's a Rob Brothers Bon Accord Aberdeen and Inverness. Our broth as well. Oh, and look, look what it's got. It's got the stopper, the vulcanite stopper that I've been looking for. So, I'm going to be able to take that out. I'll take that one home. There's a little uh, Pone's cold cream jar, just there. There's a few things here. What have we got? This is all just right next to this car. And. Oh, that's a little meat paste one. Abby might like that. Don't think it says anything. Is it chipped at all? Nope. That one's okay. So we'll take that back to Abby since she likes meat paste one. This one. Hmm, probably ketchup again. What does it say? Heinz varieties. There we go, Abby. It's ketchup. Hope that's focusing on that. Hold it down a bit lower. There we go. Heinz ketchup. In there. Nothing else I 
see poking out intact. Watching my feet very carefully. Okay, how can I get down so I can see what this car is? Wonder where it would be, what kind it was. The steering wheel's gone. So, in my experience, those steering wheels had logos in the center of them that you could see what they were. But, uh, there's more and more of our friend the bucket. Obviously, buckets get a lot of holes in them, don't they? Let's go up and around and go down that other side. It's looking a lot more stable and safe. And less risky. Oh, there's nearly a whole plate. Nearly a whole dinner plate. See that? Nearly. Nearly. Oh, and there's a... I don't know what in the world that is. A round tin or something. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to stick that in the pocket. Take it back and let Miss Abby have a look. See if she likes that one. Come up around over here. Around by the car here. So more of it there. Anyone recognize it? Recogni well, not recognize the car, obviously, but recognize the type of car. It's that under a tree there. Some wibbly wobbly kind of bottle. Modern top. Modern bottom. Slick. No idea. There's another one next to it. I can't get it out. It's buried and we're not digging things up. We're just picking them up. So, wow. Wow. I don't know if you can hear me saying that wow on the camera, but uh, wow. Wow is the word. Looky here, we got another one of those Bon Accord. Robert Brothers. Whatever that might have been. No idea. And that one's got an impression in it. And it says, that's 69. You see that? But that's it. Nothing on the top. Nothing on the bottom. And here's our car. Look at that. How cool is this? I am just, just thrilled. <laughs> I am, I am easily pleased, obviously. I am a saddo saddo, but so easily pleased. This is a big old tree I'm hanging on to just here. It's gone down. It's got bits of, probably another car under there, I think. That, that one's broken. Pop that up out of the way. Not near feet. And more bits of car here. I mean, maybe this is normal. And maybe bottle diggers can tell me if this is normal, that you just come down in a little village and, uh, and there's just a car. <laughs> maybe that's normal, I don't know. Um, I think when this is all over, I will see if I can get down under this tree here and see if I can see what kind of car it is. Um, because the, bonnet, the, the, the boot is still there, the, the trunk lid is still there. So there's probably a logo on it, but it's kind of right down. So I'm not going to go digging around in there. Uh, it's not safe. Whilst we're doing our just daily walk and look-see. There's something down there. Look at that. There's a big piece of metal. Some other something there. I don't know what it is. It's going to stay there. And uh, that's a very strange kind of mushroom there. I thought it was a bit of uh, sort of aluminium sticking up like that. But no, it's a mushroom. What, multiple mushrooms. So, let's see. Wow, wow, wow. What else? What else? What's under our feet, under here? Because I think this is still, all still dump. There's a big piece of pipe, which kind of proves it. Uh, let's see. There's a lot less bottles I'm seeing now. But then if what I heard about, you know, the stuff from dumps getting pushed out to the edges, the older stuff is pushed out to the edges, um, then it could be like tumbled up in with things. Because looking down in this ravine here, I'm seeing there's more glass down there. I hope you can see that. And lots of bottles there. Lots and lots of bottles down there. Uh, I don't know how old they are. 
But let's walk under this tree and have a look. Because there are many, many, many down here. Let's see what we can see. Anything broken plain? Broken plain. Broken plain. Broken long and skinny. Not broken, sorry, I shouldn't say broken. A lid. Uh, that's another bon accord one. Uh, sun fresh. Sun fresh. Sun fresh. Lots of sun freshes. Whatever that may have been. That's uh, a something. Yeah, some sort of something. No idea what. Uh, right, so it's all coming out of that bank up there. Look, 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 can you see? Can you see? More Gordons. Here we go. We've already found some of that stuff. Um, there's another one of those pineapple printed ones. I must find out what that is. Peter, do you know? Can you tell me what is the pineapple printed one? Uh, right. I'm just standing here and eyeballing this for a minute. See if anything jumps out at me. Uh... I don't see anything of any age, really, uh, but there's rather a lot to take in. And again, watching the feet very, very carefully. That was a Coca-Cola bottle. I don't think that's one of those straight-sided Cokes they go on about in America, but uh, it is a Coke bottle. Um, is that a paste bottle for Bappy? Possibly. Is it intact? It's looking okay. That's looking all right. So, there's another little pasty for Abby. Pasty for Abby. Okay, what's that? That's another catch-up one. Heinz was popular up here. What's that one there? Ooh, that's something interesting just there. Let me see there's a shoe. A piece of a shoe just there. Some sort something here. This was, there was a corner of this sticking out. I didn't dig it. It was a corner, but I don't see. It's just a slit, nothing on it. It was just there, just the corner that was poking out. I see something underneath that tree, but I'm not gonna pull that out. So I might take that one. A little ditty green one, little baby one. And that's a a busted beer one of some sort. Look, can you see? Can you see the beauty? The beauty of the dump, it's all down here. My goodness, there's something pink someone's thrown out. That is very, very pink. That's a mixing bowl, that is. I've got one of them at home, but it's not pink. But I'm just standing here having a look at this. I'm not climbing up there. That is far too dangerous in these times. I can see, I think that's a teacup up there, somewhere underneath that tree. I believe that's a teacup. That uh, big metal window framey looking thing, or maybe, I don't know, that's a, a fireplace mantle, possibly. But I just want to get to this little pasty jar here for Abby. Don't know if that's any better than the pasty jar she's got, or what kind of pasty jar that is, but we'll, we'll have that one for our daughter. I don't see anything in there. In there, everything's busted. There's another cup that's lost its handle. It has a lovely little edge on it. Look at that, isn't it pretty? But obviously got turfed out because its handle broke off. Poor cup. Poor sad life of a cup. Unwanted because his handle's broke. But you can see all up in there, and I'll look at the footage later under that tree, because you can see better than I can. There's another Gordon's gin bottle. There is, possibly, I think, and I think I've got it in the shot now, we'll come up a bit there. I think that might be a intact creamery bottle just there that says, maybe it says knob on the top of it. Maybe it says mob. Maybe it says mod. I don't know. But uh, when we're not on lockdown and restrictions, we'll come back and we'll have a look at that one. So, right up there and it's absolutely chocka 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 chocolata so very carefully turning around and 
putting our steel-toed boots in very safe places. Watching for dangly down things that are going to block us in the head. Well, let's walk up here. And over this. And just along here. There's another one of them fireplace things. Oh, and do you know what I see? Do you see what I see? Look, it's not a child, a child at Christmas time. But it's not an urn. It is not a burial urn. It might very well be our friend the kettle, but it is not a burial urn. Not today, Laurie. Don't tell them. And don't tell them that it's a teapot. As you seem to want to do for some reason. Why does my brain revert to saying it's a teapot when it's not? There's a bucket. Don't care. There's another bucket. A bucket. And looky, looky. Look at the bank. Who is a lucky girl? And there is more bits of possibly car because... That might be the tiger for it. Um, but, my goodness, I, I, I just don't, um, yeah, I'm speechless at this place. Well, as near as to be speechless as I get, but it is just phenomenal. Um, antiquers uh, will just, it, it's just gifted to you here. It's just everywhere. It's everywhere, it's everywhere. Um, I don't know how old is, is really what's looked for in these things. I'm not somebody that's doing this for money or anything. I'm doing this because I can't metal detect. Uh, so I'm trying to find something that's interesting for us all because you can't metal detect either and we're all sad. Uh, so we're just having a look around and seeing what's here. But I am very, very interested in history and old things. So coming back here and having a right, proper explore once we are released, whenever that may be, probably May. But uh, depending on how bad the idiots stay and whether we're going to even have our outdoor time taken away from us, it's looking like now because people cannot behave themselves. So outdoor time is looking to be taken away because apparently there were thousands of people in a park in London yesterday. I mean, I am not metal detecting. I am trying so very hard to keep myself safe and do this, which is still interesting. No other people anywhere, not putting myself at risk, um, et cetera, et cetera. You've heard it all in my videos before. And yet there are thousands of people that take themselves along to a park in London because the sun's shining, even though they have been told do not. So anyway, rant over. I think we, well, I don't know if we're getting to the end of it or not. It's hard to say here. Uh, there's some Victorian drain pipe there. Uh, another bucket. Go under this tree. Let's see, get a bit of wire there. Get out of that wire. Okay, let's see. That's a mushroom. Or a, a fungus of some sort. And it's still going. I believe there's a burn. Isn't that tranquil and lovely? We we'll stand here for a minute, look at the water, listen to the water. Hopefully you can hear the wind. And it trickles along. It just trickles along. There's a plate in it, but I'm not sure. I think we are probably coming to the end of the site. Uh, I'm not really seeing any more glasses or anything poking out anywhere but uh, that bit up there can be for another day not seeing anything in this little burn trickle, trickle. let's go down by the proper water down here and see go and walk along the water this edge let's see if we see anything more dropping into the water it's a plate a bone uh, it's in a bottle A little bit of pottery here and go along here. Oh, brick. Oh, that's a nice. See that dish on that thing? Let's see if I've got that focused right. There you go. I think that's a big Victorian drain bits because I think they were on the other, just on the other side of the hill from here. An old brick, but I can't see any. There's no maker's marks on it, so I don't know how old it is. Um, da -da -da -da. Let's just walk along here. I don't know if this is like a berm to separate out the waste. See up there? 
that's sort of the waste is on the other side of that little hill so whether this bit was put in to keep the rubbish out of the, the burn because I'm not seeing any bottles poking out of this side it just looks like earth and the stream burn brook river whatever you want to call it appears to be remarkably free I mean there's little bits and pieces of pottery in there but not much not what you'd expect when I see like um the, the man with a hat walking alongside his and he's just got all kinds of stuff falling out and landing in the river it doesn't really appear to be doing that there's only there's very minimal bits in there so I'm thinking this might be a revetment to stop things falling in and polluting the river maybe maybe not maybe that's not any glass or anything in there so again and down there I don't see anything falling out the bank so again it's looking like it's probably probably clear ground here and then you come up and over there is the remains of the, the dump site which is on the bank of the uh, the railway bit so come along here we've been here before you've seen it we're going to get back down by the river but there was a, a fallen tree in the way so we can take a little detour back over here look at all these brambles they're going to make some lovely jam as soon as they start flowering and producing fruit we've also got wild raspberries around here and uh, that makes lovely lovely jam and i feel so sorry for those people that spend three quid three pound fifty for a tub of organic raspberries in the supermarket all sealed up in plastic when i can just go out and pick them for free and organic blackberries as well i mean yes okay sometimes you get a sour one which you don't really in the supermarket but you know it's free we'll take free and there's the river and nothing nothing's eroding out of this bank here so it obviously is a revetment and then uh, we have our friend the car up there again and that so i'm just going to go along the river i'm going to turn you off for a little bit i don't want this video to get too long and i've got to head back because we'll be running out of time so be catching up with the family seeing what's going on with them if i find anything really really cool i'll turn you back on bye for now bring you back just for a minute because i've walked back along the river a bit more and what i was saying i thought was a car there and a car there uh there's another piece of it the uh the door of one of them and another piece of car down there and possibly just beyond another piece of car so what's to try and pick out anyone tell me how many cars are actually here those that know about these things how many cars are actually here answers on a postcard please